What is the best WordPress theme for affiliate marketing? That's a good question. And that's a question that people ask all the time. What theme should I use for my new affiliate marketing website? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be taking you through a few of the themes that I've used on my affiliate marketing websites. And I'm gonna give you a bit of guidance on choosing a theme for your next affiliate marketing project on WordPress. So let's go. Hello, it's Alex here. Hope you're all keeping well. So yeah, we're gonna be talking about some themes in this video, themes for affiliate marketing. Let me start by just giving you a few thoughts about choosing a theme for an affiliate marketing website, and then I'll give you a few examples of the themes that I've been using. So the first thing that you wanna keep in mind when you're choosing a theme for an affiliate marketing website is the look and feel of that theme. Is it clean? Is it clear? because an affiliate marketing website is all about the content. It's all about your articles, maybe your videos, maybe your graphics, whatever it is you're putting on. But yeah, you wanna make sure that that is at the front, that is center stage, and that the theme kind of pushes your content forward, makes it very easy to read, makes it very clear, makes it very clean. So yeah, choose a theme that really does show off your content well. The second thing to keep in mind, and this is very important, is the speed of the theme. Not all themes are created equal. Some themes are much faster than others. And when people are looking for content, they're looking for information to help them buy something, they want that information quick. They're not gonna wait around. It needs to load, you know, instantly. I'm not sure what that click was for. So yeah, just check the theme that you're gonna buy. Maybe run it through game. Yeah, just check the themes that you're thinking of buying before you buy them. Maybe run them through Google PageSpeed. Often themes have a demo, so you can run that demo site through and just see what scores are they getting. Now in terms of the design of the theme, you want something that's pretty flexible. And if the theme comes packaged up with some templates to get you started, you're gonna want a content focused template, maybe a magazine style one or a blog style one, because going back to point one, as I've already said, affiliate marketing is all about content. So you're not gonna want loads of flashy stuff, a whole load of sliders and, and other stuff. Um, it's all about the content. So bear that in mind when you're looking at themes, check out the different templates and stuff that they um, provide with their theme and see if there's one that you know pushes content to the front. A lot of themes are very business focused, very kind of corporate focused and provide a lot of templates for business type sites. Um, which is nice, but those kind of templates aren't often suitable for an affiliate marketing website. Let's say you want one that really does focus on content and pushes content to the front. So next thing I want to make you aware of is page builders. Now page builders like Elementor or Brizzy or Beaver Builder, they provide a lot of extra functionality. So if you've seen a theme that you like that's pretty basic, you can add extra stuff to it uh, with a page builder. And most themes work with most page builders. So maybe you want to add some tables or some buttons, which I strongly suggest you do because that really makes affiliate content pop. Well, you can add those things with a decent page builder like Elementor. Um, so just keep that in mind that if the theme that you're looking at maybe doesn't have that built in, you can add that extra functionality via page builder or if you don't want to do that, you could do it with uh, individual plugins. Speaking about nice things that make your content kind of really pop, I would recommend that you go for something that allows you to add tables. So a decent page builder like Elementor. I'd also look for something that allows you to add nice kind of pros and cons sections, which I guess is a table, but you know, some themes and some page builders have them built in. It's a great way of kind of summarizing the good and bad when you're talking about products. Buttons, that's also a very useful thing to have on an affiliate marketing website. So yeah, just check what your theme comes with. And if it doesn't, then go for a page builder. And yeah, you should be able to create some really nice looking content. Now I know some people will say, well, you don't wanna use page builders on your content, that will make it slow. Well, not in my experience. On one of my websites, bestroofbox.com, um, which by the way, is one of my case study websites and you can find out everything about the site, including how much it earned in a playlist, which has appeared up there, go check it out. But yeah, on that site, I've created all the content with Elementor and the site is nice and fast. And I just think 
that if you, you know, make content look really nice and you add rich um, content to it or rich elements, probably is a better way of saying it, um, it just does better. I think it does better on the search engines. I think people read it more. I think people click through more. So yeah, I'm a big fan of using page builders for content. Now, of course, if you don't wanna do that and you wanna just keep it nice and clean, add a bit of content, but maybe you're thinking, I do wanna show off some products in a table, then you might wanna check out AAWP, which is a plugin, which I absolutely love. And in fact, I use it with page builders because the tables are just so good. And basically what it does is it uses the Amazon API to pull down product information straight from Amazon. And then you can put it into tables. You can just kind of have product boxes, which are nice boxes with <laughs> images and text and a price and a button. And yeah, it's a really cool plugin. And I've done some videos on it in the past. You'll find links to those in the description. Um, but yeah, just keep that in mind because if you have a plugin like that, then it doesn't really matter too much which theme you're gonna go for because you can add the cool tables anyway. So there's a few things that I'd keep in mind when choosing a theme. Let me just share with you some of the themes that I've been using on my sites. So base WP is a theme that I've used on a couple of sites. I've used it on bestroofbox.com. I've used it on wheelalong.co.uk and it's a free theme. It's just a clean, simple, easy to use theme and I love it. Now I've been using base WP with Elementor, um, as I said, to kind of format content and create home pages and all that kind of stuff. And it works really well and it's free as is Elementor. So you can get up and running with this theme without spending any money, give it a go. Um, I think you're gonna like it. And if you want you know, more details on exactly how I created my sites with that theme, I'll put a link up now to a tutorial video. In my most recent tutorial on how to build an affiliate marketing website, the one where I created bestpressurewasher.com, I used the fantastic Thrive themes, which I'll put a link to now. And again, link in description. It's an affiliate link, so thank you very much if you use it. Now, Thrive is a premium theme. You basically have to subscribe to get access. It's $19 a month. I think there's discounts available if you go for an annual package. And you get a lot for that money. You get the theme, which is, is fully featured. It's got like everything that you could possibly want. And you get access to a whole load of other plugins and resources and you get support and you get updates. So it is worth the investment. But the reason why I really like Thrive is that it's got loads of built-in elements which are just perfect for affiliates. For example, it's got some fantastic tables. It's got some lovely looking pros and cons sections. It's got some great buttons. It's also got these fantastic page templates like this template, which I'll put up now which is for your silo pages. So rather than using default kind of WordPress categories for your posts, you can create really good looking pages um, that just you know work fantastically and look amazing. So yeah, I like Thrive. I think it's really good. It may be too much for some people that are just starting out, but I think once you start building websites with it, you'll never look back. The good thing is on the standard license, you can use it on multiple sites. So the more sites you create with it, the better value it becomes. So there are two main ones that I've been using recently. Let me just touch on a few other themes that people talk about a lot. Um, the first is Astra, which is a very popular free theme uh, with a pro version available. I like this theme, there's nothing wrong with it. It works with all the page builders. My one issue with it is the templates. Going back to my point earlier, the templates are very business focused and there aren't that many that would be suitable for an affiliate marketing website. So if you're building a site and you wanna use templates because it's quicker and it's easier and you get some really nice designs doing it that way, then yeah, Astra is gonna be very limited. Another theme that's very similar to Astra is Ocean. And this one is better. When you look at the templates, there are some magazine or blog style templates which are very content focused. So yeah, definitely a, a viable option. It's a good looking theme, it's got loads of features, and again, it works with most of the page builders. So basically, in a nutshell, you just want something that shows off your content, something that you can work with, something that you can use, and something that's pretty fast. And if it ticks all those boxes, then it's probably gonna work well for your affiliate marketing website. I'd love to know the themes that you're using on your affiliate marketing websites. Do leave me a comment below. Do read all the comments that I get, and I'll try to reply to as many as I possibly can. If you like this video, if you found it useful in any way, please click the like button, that does help me out. And to avoid missing out on future videos, make sure that you're subscribed. Until next time, good luck with your sites. Bye for now.